Right, so <clears throat> a lot of time, especially in key stage three, you might uh, lose marks if you don't show you're working out. This is accurate. These, the answers are correct. Luke is the one who's got the better mean score. Um, but where do these numbers come from? So to work out a mean, you add all the numbers together, you add all the ones, all the different ones together, and you divide them by how many there are. The easy way to show the working out in this case is I can I just added the pluses like that, and then I can see, you know, I mean, really you should be writing them all down here, but in at key stage three, your teacher will, I'm sure your teacher will say, well, you know, I'm not going to just avoid looking at that bit, so they're going to let you off, right? So if we just add all these together. So 320 plus 267 plus 298 plus 238. We can see that, um, as long as I didn't look at my calculator to make sure I didn't do a typo, uh, that is um, that is 1123. Um, there are four of them. So this bit here, we should write just before it, 1123 divided by four which hopefully equal 280.75, and it does. And the same with this one here. So you add all the numbers together, um, 270 plus 255 plus 248 plus 338 plus 247, and we get 1358, so this one would be one three five eight but not divided by four divided by five because there are five of them so divided by five we get two seven one point six which is what that one is there um <clears throat> yeah so they'll probably i mean it depends like sometimes they insist on the working out and that may be because Otherwise, because they they want to make sure that you've not just copied the answer of the person next to you. Whereas the, um, the whereas if you show you're working out, it's a lot harder to show you copy the working out of somebody back next to you. You're more likely to write something down incorrectly. So let's look at this next one. Um, Alice earns four fifty per month. Um, she pays two hundred pound per month in rent. So you can see already. Just in my head, I can see what well, she's got profits of 250. But if I keep reading, I don't think I'll even need that information. Her wages will increase by 2%. Her rent will increase by 5%. So how do I do this calculation? Well, um, the wages will increase. I'll probably just do the calculation right here so I can follow what I've done. So it's going to be 450 and what not what people might do is do it times 0.02 to work out two percent but probably what i would do because we want to know oh actually uh increase in my yeah that would be the right case the right thing to do in this case so we'll just just see what her how much is our wage increased by so 450 times 0.02 so it's increased by nine uh, pounds and then this one, uh, by the way, where did I get 0.02 from? Well, to turn a percentage into a decimal, you just divide it by 100. So 2% is equal to a 2 over 100, which is 0.02. Um, 200 times 0.05. What's that? 200 times 0.05 is 10. So close. Um, it says her increase in wages will uh, pay for the increase in rent. No, it won't. And as you said, she's one pound short. So yeah, so that would have probably, again, probably get the marks, but possibly you would have lost a mark because you didn't show this bit. I don't know what. <laughs> yeah, 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 you probably get away with it. 